Well, two very happy blockheads are $435,000 richer today after being declared the winners of the Block Glass House in one of the most dramatic auctions to date. Check it out. All done. So, congratulations. Well done. Woo! Look at him, Frankie Boy. Frankie Boy. Shirts off, party on, hey? Indeed, Lisa. Uh, I'm glad to say the block winners, Shannon and Simon, join us now. A big round of applause for the lads for waking up and coming yeah. on the TV after a big night. Lads, I knew when I saw you in the car park many, many months ago that you'd be hard to beat, and you were in the end. Thanks, Carlos, mate. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Were we a bit too excited for you? <laughs> yeah, no, we're, we're pumped. We're waiting for you, brother. We're waiting for you. No, no, <laughs> we'll, we will celebrate. But listen, there was a lot of hard work that went into it. Um, what do you think it was that got you over the line? I mean, when you looked at the auction, these things can be always unpredictable. The Melbourne market is unpredictable as well with apartments. Um, but yours was, uh, was, was outstanding. No, we, um, we, we had a really good strategy from our um, real estate agents and I, I really think that's the only thing that got us across the line. You know, all these apartments are really, really good. Mm. Ours is the best. But, you know, I think going, going second in the auction was uh, the master stroke. You had that guy who came in with that 1.7 totally out of the box bid. Were you as shocked as we were watching at home, boys? <laughs> Well, I was, yeah, yeah, I was saying slow down, slow down, because our uh, auctioneer, Damien Cooley, was going so fast. And you, you see Christian Jenner, the auctioneer, was kind of milking it for as much as it's worth. Mm. And I was like, oh, no, oh, no, did we sell out too quick? But in the end, it uh, but, paid off. And they had a, a $200,000 bid. Like, that was a huge yeah. fine. Yeah. So, that, yeah, that was insane. I think it shocked everyone and maybe... Startled everyone. Yeah. Look, there's a bit of heat around this morning about uh, reserves, but this is, again, this is the, the competition, this is the game, this is the show. Um, but it, it's also an indication of what goes on out there, which is what I love about it. And the reserves set at a high level. Uh, was that a bit of a concern for you guys going in? Oh, well, you know what? Every year, every, every season, people think the reserves are too high, you know, so mm. we always want them low as possible. Mm. But, you know, we did have a bit of a shock with the reserves. Even our auctioneer um, and real estate agent, they thought they were a little bit too high. Yeah. But, you know, still, still, 100% clearance rate. Yeah, yeah. Like, what, exactly. Oh, what can you do? What can you do? Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's a clearance rate, but, you know, two couples, you were one of those two couples that did really, really well. And then we had three couples, mm. 40 grand between three couples. How awkward was it for you at that point when Scott said, as he had to, well, our winner getting the extra 100 grand is you guys. You, mm. You're walking away with almost half a million dollars and you've got people there who've just given up their lives for weeks and weeks who... They just... did win, Lisa. That's the... Yeah, these guys won. <laughs> yeah. But did you feel no, awkward? No, that's true. It... Yeah, a little bit. A little bit awkward. But last, last season didn't do us any good with setting the bar high. Yeah. I mean, last place they took, what, half a million yeah. away. So mm. Lisa just reckons really, you should share your prize yeah, money. <laughs> yeah, we've been hit up for a few times about that. <laughs> what do you share your <laughs> prize money? Any of the couples suggest it? No, we. Oh, I think we got together with Chris and Jenna, and we we debated it. And I think no, I think and you rejected it. No, <laughs> no. Hey, boys. Also, look. Um, we know that uh, that Dee's had a fair share of controversies um, during this series. She, um, you know, she she definitely has a bottom lip out. Um, what, what do you think about uh, her maybe seeking some sort of compensation or has that maybe just been, has that been fabricated or is she, is she going out there and trying to seek some sort of compensation legally? Oh, I, I think she's got the Bromley under one arm, mate, and she's <laughs> running. So, well, no, well, you know. Please explain. <laughs> it's a painting if you didn't know what the Bromley was. Nah. Oh, a Bromley. Oh, oh, the the show? Oh. That very expensive you painting. Guys, you guys are way too cool. <laughs> so, but, <laughs> but tell us seriously, what went on after the auction last night? What, what were the conversations like and who was hanging out with who? Oh, it was hard. We were all together. It was, you know, we are one big happy family. Um, we weren't taking our shirts off and waving them around, let's say that. No. It was a quiet beer. 
It was, yeah, it wasn't, a, it wasn't over the top. It wasn't over the top celebration. Like guys, I mean, they were pissed off. Yeah. Um, obviously, three couples were pissed off, and we were stoked, absolutely stoked. But we had to, you know, it's, and you know what, at the same time, we're heartbroken for them. Yeah. Do you know what it was like, boys? It's like on Christmas Day back in the day uh, when, you know, it's one big happy family, but your brother got a better Christmas present than you. It's like, oh, yeah, no. damn that guy. Yeah. <laughs> so what are you going to do with your weddings, boys? We're going to take our, our build a mozzie on a surfing trip to yeah. uh, Bali or... Oh, in Indo or somewhere, you know, he's... He's, he's put in the hard yards for us, so we definitely want to say thank you. Oh, very and that's, cool. And that's one way of doing it, so Holiday. we'll take him overseas. Well done, lads. We look forward to catching up with you. You guys, uh, you guys rocked it, and uh, you're both great fellas. So thanks for being with us this morning, bright and early. And well done on a big win. Thanks, thank guys. <laughs> Woo! That's it. Those three on a surfing holiday. Watch oh, out, no. Bali. <laughs> oh, they should take D along as well. That'd yeah. be nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought, they we, either I thought we decided they're not sharing. No, nah, no, we can take it on a holiday, though. Take it on the yeah, holiday. Grab a little Nazi right. Goreng. Yeah. You know? $2.50 yeah. Nazi Goreng. Cheap DVDs. That's it. There. Yeah. <laughs> At least a bin it. tank. It won't cost a lot. Just a little bin <laughs> tank. Been taking a Nazi Goreng. <laughs> Happy as Larry you'd be, wouldn't you? Hey? <laughs>